Greetings, anatomy fans. It is I, Lissa Mahalik, with Somatic Anatomy and my lovely assistant, Napoleon Bony Parts, or at least his midsection. Now, it's been pretty crazy these past couple of weeks because I am working on the Enjoy Your Anatomy class. That class is going to start next week, Monday the 10th, and the, uh, the shopping cart is closing on Thursday night at midnight. So I suppose technically it's Friday morning, but you know what I mean. So get ye to somaticanatomy.com or to the link that's posted down there, if there is a link posted down there, and get in that class sooner rather than later because it's going to be three weeks three, of five muscles with basically just going through the same things as we did with the psoas, attachments, movements, innervations, and of course, demonstrations on Lovely Bony. So, because you guys are on the list, and you are, you know, you guys are a little bit special, so I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek of my favorite chunk of connections, partly because it's just taped up so beautifully, um, and probably because this is really exciting. So, here we have Napoleon, and, we have, we have a skeletal diaphragm in the skeleton. So all this red in here, this is the diaphragm muscle. And this, I mean, this starts out being super exciting because you can see how much diaphragm there is and exactly where it is in the body. It was actually, I always think of the diaphragm as living lower than it does, but it actually goes up pretty high up to the fifth rib, you know, about nipple level for those of us who have nipples, unlike bony. Uh, so everything underneath the diaphragm is all internal organ. Everything above it is heart and lung, which is kind of awesome. So this is a really interesting connection here. We have down here, you can see this. Down here we have the pubococcygeus muscle, which goes from the pubis to the coccyx. And that is... That is a muscle that goes straight across the pelvic floor, which is kind of cool. But you say, what's all that green stuff going right up the front? Well, here's the fun part, is that the diaphragm and the pubococcygeus have a connection. They have an actual physical fascial connection. And that would be this green stuff right here. This is the anterior longitudinal ligament. So it actually it doesn't even stop here. It keeps going all the way up the front of the spine, all the way up to the base of the skull. So it coats the entire front of the spine. You can see this from the side. It's pretty much just stuck to the front of the spine, just like tape. Because you know what? Sometimes ligaments are kind of like tape, which is cool. So we've got up here with the diaphragm. The diaphragm has two tendons that come down. Let's see if you can... Yeah, can't really, can't quite get this underneath the rib cage to see. So you have to trust me. So right here, there are two ligaments that come from the diaphragm down around the descending aorta, which comes straight out of the heart, straight down the front of the spine. But there are these two ligaments that wrap around it and connect the diaphragm to the anterior longitudinal ligament. They're called the crura, C-R-U-R-A, two crura, one cruce. So the crura wrap around, right cruce, left cruce, they come down and they blend into the anterior longitudinal ligament. Now, that means that basically they have the same pull as the anterior longitudinal ligament, they become part of it. So they become part of this ligament that then comes down, coats the front of the sacrum, goes to the end of the tailbone, and goes straight across, and becomes the pubococcygeus muscle. So, the diaphragm has a direct connection to your pelvic floor. Now, normally when you breathe, if you get into a squatting position, um, what's called the primal squat or the Asian squat, or just plain old child's pose, so you can really feel your pelvic floor stretching up. It's very easy to feel your sits bones down here moving apart and together when you breathe. So, as your sits bones move apart, you can feel your pelvic floor descend. As your cyst bones come together, your pelvic floor rises. So, when you are sitting there in your squat, let's see if I can do this perched on my chair. Mm -hmm. 
on my knees. So uh, I'm in my, in my squat here. See that? My squat going on. And when I inhale, I can feel my sits bones widen and I can feel my pelvic floor descend. Now, not all of you will feel this same thing. Some of you guys might feel something different. And that's cool too. Remember, somatic experience is always true. The experience you have in your body is always 100% true. So, whatever you're feeling, whether that pelvic floor is dropping down on the inhale or rising up on the inhale, everything is true. Now, like I said, most of us, the pelvic floor descends on the inhale. However, with this connection, there's a really good case to be made for the pelvic floor rising on the inhale. Because the diaphragm is, as, the diaphragm, it, as you inhale, your diaphragm comes down, it's pulling on this line, and it's pulling your pelvic floor. So see if you can inhale and pull your pelvic, and let your pelvic floor rise. Pull the sits bones together. And if you can do that, it's gonna feel kind of different. Instead of all of your internal organs moving up and down, they're gonna get kind of squished out at the side, which is a good thing. If your internal organs are getting squished, it helps, it helps all the fluids to circulate in there, which is good. That means all the good stuff comes in, all the bad stuff goes out. So when you are, so when you are breathing, you can think about this connection from the diaphragm all the way down to the pubococcygeus as one, a thing that happens and it's real, and two, a thing that can change the way you breathe. So there's not one right or wrong way to breathe. If you're not dead, you're breathing pretty well. However, this is giving you options. So enjoy your options and enjoy your anatomy. And join us for the Enjoy Your Anatomy class, but jump on quick because time is passing. And it would be sad if you missed it because it would be a really good class. Really good class. It's all online. Show it. We have a special Facebook group and everything. Show up in the Facebook group. And uh, I've, I've been working on this all week. I'm really, really excited for you guys to see this stuff. It's so cool. All right. <clears throat> Deep breaths. Enjoy your anatomy. And I'll see you online.